Tonight, the woman who claims she was verbally assaulted by a security guard is speaking out. Video of the man using racial slurs has gone viral. We are blurring the man's face because at this point, he has not been charged with a crime. But a well-known activist wants police to investigate this. Our Troy Class has the story. Such a bitch. But you are trash. Okay. Denisha Lewis says she was driving along Airport Boulevard near the Southwest Freeway on Thursday when she says she politely honked at a man on a motorcycle who wasn't moving after a green light, then passes around him. He accelerates his gas, comes to my from the right lane and punches my rear mirror, I mean my side mirror. She says this is some of the damage from the punch. Lewis says she then saw the man pull into this convenience store. I politely walked in. I parked right next to his motorcycle. I walked in. I said, excuse me, sir. Did you just punch my, my, my mirror? He said, he said, F you, you B word. Right. Keep talking. I will. Okay. She says she started recording on Snapchat, which didn't capture the entire exchange, and the man, who we're not identifying because he has not been charged with a crime, repeatedly uses racial slurs. Lewis says before she left, the man spit on her. The video has gone viral on Instagram and TikTok. This man is a danger to society. He's already demonstrated that he will commit a hate crime against an African American and using racist, hateful language toward a female, spit on her, walking around with a gun. Community like activist Quanell X claims the man works for a private security group, though the company on social media issued a statement saying the man was a temporary employee and, quote, we have had no contact with him since early August. Lewis says she filed a report with the Stafford Police Department. They also want the Fort Bend County District Attorney to investigate. But we want law enforcement to make those final conclusions also through a thorough, looking, thorough and proper investigation into this matter because we do believe he committed a hate crime. We have made multiple attempts to reach the man in the video and we are still waiting to hear back. We have the full statement from the security company in this story on KHOU.com. In Stafford, Troy Kless, KHOU 11 News.